today threatened, announced, predicted, choose your verb, that if the president's reelected, we will see more violence. Are you worried about that? I, I'm not, Tucker, and that's, uh, I would say that's a delusional statement. The idea that the president or this administration or the Department of Homeland Security is somehow the, the reason or the cause behind this violence is just absurd. Uh, is look, absurd. the department's been at this since early uh, July, uh, particularly in Portland, addressing some of this violent rioting and looting that was occurring, uh, and anarchists targeting a federal building in, in Portland. So we've been at this for some time. We understand we've been uh, caused or uh, having uh, been described as causing this violence. We know that's not the case. Um, and now, uh, before they ignored it, uh, it then became DHS's problem, and now they're, they're saying it's, it's the administration and, of course, the president that's now causing this. So, again, all of these statements are absurd. They're not true. I think most reasonable Americans understand what's going on out there. And really the cause of all of this is local officials, state officials not taking this seriously enough from day one. When there's violence in your community, you need to restore law and order right away. And we've seen that. It will work. We've seen it in Kenosha after several days. It's working. Uh, places like Portland and other places uh, need to take that same advice. They need to bring that law and order back to their streets uh, so that the residents of those cities uh, can feel safe uh, as they go about their business every day. Yeah, I, th I think that's exactly right. In the meantime, do you think Department of Homeland Security is getting the help it needs from the Justice Department? Why haven't we seen the leaders of Antifa and BLM arrested and charged for conspiracy under, say, RICO, like the heads of the mafia families were? Well, this is something I've talked to the AG personally about, uh, and I know that they are working on it. Look, we've seen about 300 arrests across this country regarding civil unrest um, and, and protesting, violent protesting, I would say, criminal protesting, criminal rioting occur, about 300 arrests. About a third of those or 100 of those arrests have been in Portland specifically, and I know the Department of Justice has charged about 74 or 75 individuals there in Portland with different federal crimes, and we'll continue to see how those investigations are going. Department of Justice is also targeting and investigating the head of these organizations, the individuals that are paying for these individuals to move across the country. What we know, Tucker, is that we have seen groups and individuals move from Portland to other parts of the country. Right. We had about 175 arrests in Kenosha. Almost 100 of them uh, were from out of state. Uh, so we know they're moving around. We've seen them in, in D.C., in Sacramento, and elsewhere. They're organized. Uh, we've seen similar tactics being used from Portland and other cities across the country as well. So we know that there's organization. I know the Department of Justice is also looking at that as well.